Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Eckhard Groll. I'm the head of the School of Mechanical Engineering here at Purdue, and I'm also the Riley Professor of Mechanical Engineering. I'm excited to present to you our end of the year undergraduate student awards. We are here today to recognize our outstanding sophomore, junior, and senior student uh, from the current academic year 2021. This is the second straight year that we have recognized our students uh, remotely or virtually rather than in person. But we are optimistic that things are changing and hopefully soon we will be able to hold this event face to face. In fact, we are currently working on an awards wall on the second floor of the Gatewood Wing, where we recognized the outstanding sophomore, junior and seniors from every year, as well as the winners of the Melat Innovation Awards. This awards wall is still work in progress, but I wanted to share this concept artwork with you uh, and to show you how important it is to honor our students who have demonstrated academic excellence, exemplified personal integrity, and exercised involvement in the community of Purdue University. Today, I'm going to talk about the three finalists from each class in alphabetical order. And then we will announce the winner. Let's start with our sophomores. We are presenting the George Elwood Rhodes Award for Outstanding Sophomores. The award is named after George Elwood Rhodes, who graduated from Purdue Mechanical Engineering in 1900. The funds for the award were provided by his son, Albert B. Rhodes, who graduated in 1933. And the finalists are, first up is Brennan Byrne. Brennan has jumped in to involvement in the School of Mechanical Engineering. He conducts research with Partha Mukherjee to develop data analytics models for battery electrodes. He's also a member of the Purdue Orbital Club, where he performs finite element analysis on additive manufactured lattice structures for energy absorbance. Brennan is also an active participant in Purdue's jazz band and is a member of the Honors College. He shows a confident leadership style and enthusiasm, passion, and dedication towards his education. The second finalist of the sophomore award is Alison Brown. As a Purdue ME student with a minor in ECE, Alison is always open to new things. She conducts research with Shulun Ruan on the atomic structure of materials using quantum mechanics and machine learning. She has served as a Boiler Gold Rush leader and part of the Purdue Mechanical Engineering Ambassadors. She's also active in the Society of Women in Engineering, including the Grand Prix team. By the way, the Grand Prix is this Saturday. Our third finalist is Meredith Meyer. Meredith has shown her leadership qualities already within Purdue ME. She's the head of internal communications for Purdue's Engineering Student Council, where she helped to convert last year's career fair into a virtual event. She also mentored three first year engineering students, meeting with them once a week. She has worked on the Mars Rover robot project, as well as assisting Purdue ME professors to streamline online classes. And now, let me grab the envelope for our sophomores. The winner right, of the sophomore, Outstanding Sophomore Award is Meredith Meyer. Congratulations, Meredith. You will receive $500 and this trophy as the George Elwood Rhodes Award winner for Outstanding Sophomores given to you on April 23rd, 2021. Congratulations. Next up, our junior class. We are presenting the Frederick Morse Award for Outstanding Juniors. 
The award is named our, after Frederick Morse, who served as a professor in mechanical engineering from 1947 to 1985. He is best known for creating Purdue's cooperative education program back in 1954. In the decades since, he guided hundreds of our students through their first co-op work sessions. Our first finalist for Outstanding Junior is Nitya Agarwal. Nitya spreads her passion for ME and her curiosity for learning to others in the Purdue community through her leadership and involvement on campus. She co-founded Boiler Robotics, a team that built semi-autonomous rover for traversing Mars. She also uses her robotic skills for research with Dave Capillary, designing a drone that, co that can collect agricultural samples. She has entered with Northrop Grumman and she worked on solid rocket boosters. She is the outreach committee head for Purdue Mechanical Engineering Ambassadors and organizes events such as developing 550 ME in a box kits for local elementary students. The second finalist for the Junior Award is Jennifer Asher. Jennifer is an outstanding leader, mentor and student here in ME. She has taken on leadership roles as Vice President of Purdue Mechanical Engineering Ambassadors, a mentor at the Honors College, and various roles with the Society of Women Engineers and the Women in Engineering program. She has interned at SC Johnson and Caterpillar. She is also passionate about the Perduettes and bringing her, the arts to the community. Through all of her experiences, she has demonstrated her passion for helping others and working as a team player. Our third finalist is Markus Lenny. Markus is the embodiment of an op optimistic leader striving to make an impact in the Boilermaker community. It shows through his positions as president of Purdue ASME, whose membership has quintupled under his leadership. He is also the manager of five EPICS projects, helping workers with disabilities at the Warbash Center. He is currently interning with A Laser while a full-time student, and he previously interned at Rolls Royce and Rogo Ag. He also posts a unique inspirational video every day on LinkedIn, his Marcus Morning Minute. It's a series of 300 videos and counting. And the winner of the Junior Award is Marcus Lenny. Congratulations, Marcus. You will receive $1,000 and this trophy as the Frederick Morse Award winner for Outstanding Juniors given on April 23rd, 2021. Congratulations. Finally, we are excited to present the John M. Starkey Prize in Mechanical Engineering, which recognizes our top all-around graduating ME senior someone who exemplifies the school's core values of character and personal integrity, academic excellence, community engagement, and leadership. The Starkey Prize is named after John Starkey, who served as a professor in mechanical engineering from 1982 to 2017. He served as faculty advisor for Purdue student racing teams, and he was also the director of our ME463 Senior Design Capstone course, where he oversaw the final Purdue experiences of hundreds of our students. The first finalist for Outstanding Senior is Carl Akert. Carl shows his passion for Purdue ME through academics, where he's getting both his bachelor and master's, as well as through his community involvement. At Purdue Engineering Students Council, he helped to organize the last in-person industrial round table. He also works with their Grand Prix team and with the Philharmonic Orchestra. He balanced all of that while being a co-op student with NASA. 
where he worked with uh, the ISS, the International Space Station Avionics and Spacesuit Design. Our second finalist is Tanmay Das. At Peru, Tanmay has developed his expertise and dedication and freely shared it with others. He has served with Purdue Baja Racing as transmission lead and suspension lead, as well as developing mathematical theory and simulation for the drivetrain. He is a peer mentor at the Bechtel Innovation Design Center, helping more than 30 other project groups use the facility to cre create prototypes for their designs. Throughout all of this, he has maintained a straight 4.0 GPA, conducted research with Andres Arrieta, and taken a co-op with Ream Manufacturing in Arkansas. Our third finalist is Monica Ma. Monica has worked hard to build relationships and improve the culture of Purdue ME. She has served as an undergraduate TA and ME mentor and participated with the Society of Women Engineers, Women in Engineering program, Pi Tau Sigma, and the Purdue Bar Racing Team. In addition to interning with Tesla, she took on multiple roles during a NASA co-op involving flight control, the Orion capsule, and the Boeing Starliner. And the winner of the Outstanding Senior Award is Tan Mei Das. Congratulations, Tan Mei. You will receive $2,000 and this beautiful clock as the winner of the John M. Starkey Prize in Mechanical Engineering given to you on April 23rd, 2021. Congratulations. I want to congratulate all of our finalists. As you heard me speak, they are all outstanding students. But unfortunately, we can only give the award to one in each category. Uh, so my special congratulations uh, to all of the winners for their tremendous accomplishments as ME students and leaders in the Purdue community. I also want to thank our alumni whose generous gifts have enabled us to present these awards and the cash prizes that go along with the awards. And next year, I'm looking forward to seeing all the achievements of our students in 2022 and hopefully then celebrating this event in person with students, with faculty and staff, with alumni. Thank you all for watching. Stay safe and ball up.